Nobody talks about this extremely simple driver tip, which drastically increases your distance. And this is something we see the likes of John Rahm do quite a lot of his driver and the legend Mo Norman. So all this is, is setting up to the golf ball with your driver head directly out the middle of the stance and the ball out of a normal forward ball position. Now this is something I preach about on my channel for making sure you are making driver as easy as possible and getting the most amount of distance. But why it is so helpful is because with that club out the middle and that ball out the front, essentially what you're doing, you have now just from your setup, you've moved that low point of the swing arc more behind the ball. So when that lowest point of the swing arc is now more behind the ball, because now we have set that club out the middle, we've got a greater chance for it to be behind, that's going to encourage us to hit that ball on the upward portion of the swing arc. And when we're hitting on that upward portion of the swing arc again what are we doing we're hitting more up on it and when we're hitting more up on it we're going to get that higher launch but we're going to be lowering our spin which is so essential to be able to hit good long drive so there's so many things you can do to be able to get yourself to hit up on the driver but this is just an easy way for everyone just to make this small tweak and then get this into your swing pretty much immediately And whereas if you set up to the golf ball with that traditional driver setup position with the head just directly behind the ball, I mean, you can make this work, absolutely. No doubt about it. But it is very easy to have that low point get a little bit after the golf ball from here. So it's just where it just makes it a little bit easier. Golf's really hard. We've got to make it as easy as we can. But it can also help you in another way. It can help you for, let's say, slices of the golf ball. People really struggle to do anything but hit it left to right to straighten that out and actually hit some draws. So I'm not gonna go and explain this to you. I'm gonna get John Rahm to explain this to you. So here's this little clip by Callaway Golf of John Rahm talking about what he does with his driver setup to hit the draw. And he started doing this just before he won the Masters. So incredibly, incredibly effective. Let's let John Rahm talk about it. Yeah, it's a bit Mo Nerman like for people that haven't ever seen him hit a golf shot, but it's for a different purpose. Um, if you dive a little bit into my swing and my numbers, you'll see that my face is very square to path, if anything, because I like to hit a fade a little bit open at impact. And with a bowed wrist, I'm not, you know, I don't have the ability to rotate that face to hit a draw like some people might be able to do. So uh, my coach Dave Phillips and I figure out a way for me to naturally just not really change anything on the swing and hit a draw. And I usually like to do things on setup. Right, so you will see me aim very far right, or at least on the line I want the ball to start on. And now if I set up on the ball, what I do, more than setting up the head behind, I'm setting the ball up really far up on my stance, right? Based on what I just said, if I am squared... So unfortunately, that's where that clip ends. It stops right there mid-sentence, as John was talking about what he's doing when he's lining up to his shot. So essentially what John Rahm was saying there, that absolutely with that gap, that very Mo Norman-like gap, as he said, with that club out the middle. Now, what he's doing, of course, hitting the ball later on the swing arc. What else happens to the golf club when you're hitting the ball later on the swing arc, other than hitting up on it? You actually start to have the face closed down, because as we're hitting up, the club is actually going more around us. So you are naturally gonna have the face a little bit more closed as you do that. The face will be closing down. So for John Rahm to hit the ball to his target, someone who really struggles to get that face to close down, to hit that draw, to get the face close to the club path, what John Rahm does is he aims his body a little bit more to the right. So essentially what he'll be doing, he'll be having his face, yes, absolutely, a little bit closer to the path, moving his swing direction more to the right. So essentially what he's gonna be doing, he's hitting pull draws, but because he's aligned his body more right, because of that upward angle attack, because of that face closing down more, he is not going to be then hitting the ball left of his target, he's gonna be hitting the ball to the target, just really making way for a little pull draw to happen. And pull draws are not a bad way for slices of golf ball to be able to hit a draw because moving your path quite aggressively, let's say from an outside angle to in takes a lot of work where you can simply have a method here that will make the club face close down going through the impact just by while it's still on the swing arc and just move your swing direction more to the right. So in simple terms, just swing more to the right with your body alignment 
and then you're going to be hitting little pull draws, but they're going to go to your target, just like John Rahm was doing there. So again, what does it help with? It helps with one hitting more up on the ball, increasing distance, brilliant. But for your slices of the golf ball as well there, it can massively help you with hitting those little draws. Just make sure you're aiming a little bit more to the right there. So that's it, let's give one a go. Feels great. I've been doing this method for absolutely years. I just find it is a much simpler way of hitting driver. And again, if one of the straightest hitters of all time, or the straightest hitter of all time, Mo Norman, who managed to get a ton of distance out of his swing as well. And obviously, recent Masters champion, probably one of the most, well, one of the best players in golf, and most popular players in golf, as of the point of making this video. John Rahm, you're absolutely going to improve too. So if you like this video, click that like button if you want more golf instruction, just like this. Hit the subscribe button, hit that bell button too to be notified every time I put out a video. So guys, a brand new course is now live on my skill list, and that is fixing your early extension masterclass. And in this course, absolutely everything you need to know about how to fix early extension and everything you need to know about early extension and what causes it. So we get into the root causes, everything that causes that problem and in depth. And then we get into exactly what to do to fix each one of those root causes with the optimized practice structure. And with all my students you see, let's say from my YouTube videos here, where I do videos on how they fix their early extension, those crazy big gains they make in a very short space of time, it's the same practice structure I've used with every single one of those students. That have achieved massive success in fixing this problem fast. Early extension is only a big issue in the golf swing if you don't know how to tackle it. When you know how to tackle it, it is very straightforward and I give you all the tools to be able to fix it in no time in this course. So there's a link in the description that takes you straight to my Skillist page, so the website of Skillist. And if you scroll down, you'll see online courses. It will be right there. Brand new course, absolutely brilliant. There's tons of info in there. It's absolutely going to be the most comprehensive guide to fix your early extension that you've ever seen online.